Hello, my dear students. This is Lina Abdullah, your IT teacher. In this video, we are going to discuss our unit, which is image editing module. This is this unit part of the entrepreneurial and image designing course, where in this course, we will cover certain topics. Our first topic is the image editing. In this image editing module, we need to cover different things, which they are, uh, or let's say, like the main concept and skills needed to use and work with images. I know most of you nowadays are very professional with dealing with camera and dealing with pictures, Im images, through your experience with the social media and, of course, using technology. In this module, we will be able to use Adobe Photoshop, which is one of the international important software, will help us to learn how to apply different techniques by, uh, on our images to produce uh, our uh, professional work, artistic work, uh, produce uh, attractive work uh, related to images. You will find in this unit, or let's say by end of this unit and chapter, we have some certain assessment objective. We need to make sure that we will master it by end of it. Like understanding the different image formats and options available. We'll talk about the image type, uh, types, uh, the format of each one, the size, how to deal with it. Recognize the ways images can be edited, enhanced, and manipulated. Review the different functions of an image editing application and how to use them. We also will be able to apply effect, filter, overlays, and other changes to images. And of course, we will be able to understand how to output an image correctly according to its intended use. So these are our main assessment objectives in this module. Here you will find uh, the ICDL sample test where you can click on this uh, picture to download a sample test from the ICDL center and down also you will find the, uh, the answer, the sample answer for the theory questions. Here uh, the teacher video where you will find what we talked about and you will see the area where you, we can integrate our module with other uh, subjects, especially we'll talk about the science, where in science we have something, um, let's say it's not an innovation, it's part of the technology nowadays, is the scientific visualization. Photoshop can be used to enhance and visualize scientific data. This might involve taking a raw data such as satellites, imagery, micros, uh, microscopy images, or medical scans, and using various editing techniques to highlight specific features or pattern. For example, you can use color adjustment to bring out specific wavelength in astronomy images or enhance contrast in medical scans. So you will see that dealing with images and picture can be very useful in the scientific sector. Also here you'll find details uh, for um, to find tutorials about scientific visualization. Also with art, art, you know, most of us, uh, all of us know that art is something very important. Uh, art, um, this software or this course will be very beneficial for art where you can work with images, colors, and more, and you can work with the blend, the artwork. Also, you will find uh, here uh, like an online activity where you can mix different colors to find out what the new color we will get, which is very important for coloring images. Uh, as you know, in all the courses, we have our unit project. This project, um, I found it very interesting where you will work with a vintage photo res res restoration. Uh, maybe you will ask your mom and dad about your old 
pictures or their old pictures you will find them they are in black and white maybe they have some problems like crack like uh, discoloration um, uh, damage and so on so using adobe photoshop you can work in restoring these vintage old photos by repairing any damage and fixing errors and problems so this is our main idea here and in order to perform all of that we have some uh, we have some steps we need to follow uh, uh, you can watch this video to find out more uh, information about repairing uh, damaged photos and you can see the difference between the old one and the new one which is really nice you can edit and manipulate your images to have them refresh and new using Adobe Photoshop also you'll find the Adobe Photoshop sup uh, website support where it uh, will guide you to do all of that also you can read more through your adobe support website about this fixing that by end of this project you will be able to restore old vintage images uh, by removing errors and fix their resolution and this is an example also about that and here you will find the rubric which will help you to know exactly uh, what uh, are the points you need to cover within your project uh, by end of this unit, you will find the reflection of it, alignment with mass and vision, where you will find this module is very important one, where, uh, first of all, you can get a certificate, which is ICDL certificate as international one. Also, you will see the areas in your, uh, let's say, coming learning journey, maybe in the university, even in your career life, where you can get benefit of this software and the concept you will learn to help you produce uh, digital images, uh, fixing problem, prepare your, maybe you have a presentation and you want to deal with certain image. All of that will ha help to prepare you for your coming, let's say, journey or coming, uh, maybe coming your university or your career life. Also here you will find the page where it will link you to the resources page. Within the uh, resources page you will find the unit resources page. You will find more resources will help you with uh, achieving let's say uh, the needed skills and master the things you have to you'll find simulation software, you have Quizlet, you have quizzes where you can find, um, let's say, uh, questions related to the topics we have. Also, you find uh, another simulation uh, website where you can generate a color palette and more resources you can get benefit of. My dear students, this was uh, my introduction for our uh, image editing module. I wish everything is clear and um, if you have any questions just refer to me anytime. Have a nice day.